Hi guys, Chris Brainley here with Chris Brainley Art. Welcome to another painting tip. In this video, I am going to give you 10 tips on loosening up your paintings. So when you think about it, it sounds really easy to do, but realistically, it's a little bit more difficult to try to loosen up, especially if you're used to painting really tight, more realistic paintings. So here are 10 things that you can do right away that will help you loosen up. Number one, use a long handled brush. Using a longer handled brush is going to force you to move your hand back a little bit further. And if you'll do that, that's gonna loosen up your wrist to where you're painting more with your arm than if you were to hold closer up, closer to the bristles, and then that's gonna force you to paint more tightly. So sometimes I do use these shorter brushes to paint with, but when I do, I make sure that I am holding them back really far so I can keep my wrist loose and paint more with my arm. Tip number two, use larger brushes to paint with. If you're using a little teeny tiny brush, it's gonna force you again to work very tightly and it's going to be much harder to get those looser brush strokes. Tip number three, something else that I would really encourage you to try doing is a small painting using only 25 brush strokes. Now, it sounds impossible to do, but trust me, if you will stop and really think about each of your brush strokes that you're placing, it's gonna help you be more aware of those brush strokes, it's gonna help you loosen up, and it helps you to kind of plan ahead. Now, obviously, this is an exercise um, that's also something that's gonna help you loosen up so that you're not thinking about making this perfect painting that you're gonna hang on the wall or sell. Tip number four, make sure you're loading plenty of paint on the tip of your brush. That's gonna be really important because if you are just getting really small amounts of paint, that paint's not gonna offload and it's gonna be much harder to be loose and expressive. Now, in order for you to get enough paint on your brush, it's gonna be important for you to have enough paint on your palette so that you can really scoop that up on the tip of your brush and get those expressive brush strokes. Tip number five, start every painting off with thinned down paint. So I always add medium to my paint first on that first layer, and I don't worry about any details. I just get that surface covered, and using that thin paint helps me to do it quickly, and it gives me a foundation to build on so that I can do thick over thin or fat over lean, which is really important when you're painting with oils. Tip number six, stand while you paint. If you're sitting, you're not gonna be able to really move back or move around as you're painting. And it's important that you can get far away from your painting and be able to move back easily um, so that you can kind of see what's going on with your painting. When you're right up close to it in your painting, especially for a long period of time, you kind of lose perspective. So if you're standing, that also kind of frees your body up to be able to move as you're painting, which helps to loosen those brush strokes. Number seven, lay it and leave it. What do I mean by that? Well, whenever you're putting a brush stroke down, sometimes the tendency is to put it down, it doesn't feel right, so you start manipulating it and you start working it and you start blending it until you've blended it to death. And it's lost the spontaneity and it's gonna fall flat. So if you will just lay that brush stroke and leave it and continue to lay brush strokes and leave them as you move along in your painting, everything is gonna start to come together with all of those different brush strokes. They're gonna build up until it looks like a fresh, spontaneous, impressionistic painting. So lay it and leave it. Tip number eight. Always start your painting off by using simplified large shapes. So my main goal when I start painting is just to get that surface covered. And the way to do that is to not work on details in the beginning. You really want to just move that brush around using those large, oversized, simplified shapes. 
that's going to give you a foundation to build on later to where you can start refining and putting your details in. So it's going to kind of take the stress and the fear away from looking at that blank canvas. Tip number nine, get to know your color palette. I would suggest getting the colors and using those same colors every time. You really want to get to know that palette, know how those colors work with each other. The more practice you do with that set of colors, the more familiar you're going to become with them, the more you're going to know their properties, how those particular pigments work with each other, what happens when you thin them down, what happens when you mix a, a warm orange with a cool blue. Um, it's just really important to know that palette. If you're constantly changing your colors and changing your paint tubes around, it's going to be difficult to become familiar with that. So get familiar with your color palette. And tip number 10 is to think about each brush stroke and then place it spontaneously. I know that sounds kind of like an oxymoron, but you really don't want to go in and just start placing brush strokes haphazardly and not think about it. Even though when you look at an impressionist painting, it kind of looks like that's what was done. But in reality, it's a very thought out process. You want to think about every brush stroke, where you're going to place it, how thick is it going to be? How long is it going to be? Are you going to twist your arm as you're working? Think about that brush stroke and then try as hard as you can to be spontaneous with it and place it with confidence. So in a nutshell, that's 10 tips on loosening your paintings. Hope it was helpful.